make a decision on your purchases. We got new products from uh, what is it, Chroma Scales. Uh, so we got some new products here. Uh, so we're going to be checking them out. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, putting some on, uh, choosing some of the, the scales I'm going to use. And we're going to go from there. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I have my laptop pulled up over there so I can see the comments. But otherwise, I'm going to be working down here, kind of talking through these items. Uh, they are from Chroma Scales. These are 3D printed scales. Uh, so um, you really have a lot of options. If you haven't gone to chromascales.com, uh, check them out. They do have some Para 2 uh, products. And then you can actually see um, what type of um, other designs are available. So that's going to be what's available for it. And that's how we're going to be working with these. So we'll be selling these off. Uh, and then um, with a regular run, we'll have uh, really the option to pre-order um, the style you want to. So you can actually see how that works. But I'm going to get going here. So these are different scales that are available for it. Uh, so this is kind of... Right there. And then the other one's going to be a little bit more textured. This one's a little bit smoother uh, than expected. Uh, so it's going to be uh, kind of more like a cloth feel. Uh, but then uh, these first um, prototype runs, if you want to be the first ones to have them, then that's where you can pick them up, try them out. Uh, so it's going to be the scale version. And again, there's so many different variants on the site uh, for them. And you can actually see what's available and what you want to pick up. There's kind of a stone variant. There's one also called a pebble. There's a few different colors to it, but that's going to be those scales. And the price point on these are going to be uh, when uh, we're full production, uh, it's going to be about $45 uh, for the scales. So it is a little bit higher than the carbon fiber, uh, but these are going to be uh, kind of custom printed uh, for you. So small batch runs. Uh, so this is uh, kind of, there's supposed to be a, um, some type of wood, uh, but I said it looked kind of like a peanut. Uh, also, it kind of looks like a nutter butter. Uh, so if you like those things, a waffle cone, uh, then that's where these would come in uh, pretty well as well. And they actually work pretty well too. Even with a little bit slicker, uh, it actually does have a good feel in hand. There's like a metal grate on this guy. So these are all 3D printed, so there's going to be Again, a little bit um, more texture to it, so a little bit, um, it's a little smooth right now. Uh, they're going to be just a touch grippier for the production variant, uh, but uh, these are going to be available. So we're going to be doing, uh, so since these are kind of the pre-production run, uh, if you just message me if you're interested in any of them, it'll probably be, uh, normally it's going to be 45, we'll do 30% off, so about 3150 uh, for the scales. Uh, the backspacer and pivot collar. Also going to be 3D printed. Those will be normally $15. Uh, if you just message and see what you want, uh, those will be $10.50. So you got all different styles, colors. So yellow actually has a little bit more texturing in the back too. So if you like that or not, let me know. Uh, but that's going to be what's available. Uh, so just yeah, a lot of different styles. Camo. Kind of like cotton candy. Blue, we already got blue, but those are blue on both. So the colors will be exactly the same on both those. So front or the pivot colors and also the backside, kind of like a pink, purple. Another camo, I just call it cotton candy. A uh, textured color, oop, a uh, textured color there. And uh, these are gonna be same one there, kind of a green. So all these are gonna be available. So if you are interested, let me know. Uh, this one actually now so there is one that's i'm going to be putting probably on is these guys so it's kind of like a lego well i can't say lego sorry uh building block style so cannot use that word uh, but uh, this is going to be like a building block so again it's going to be a little bit more textured so kind of like a a, a fine fabric feel uh when we get going uh, but again these are available if you want to get a pre-production run uh, they're going to be 30% off for the normal price, $45 normally. 30% off, it's going to be $31.50. Just message me on those. But we're going to clean some of these on, but just running through some of the styles. So all these different colors here. Put that back in there. So if it's really to your heart's content as far as what colors you want to accent with your knife. Uh, again, really, even for the scale side, as far as what you want to run with that. So I've been working with Chroma Scales. Uh, since Blade Show West um, back last year, I think last year and was it what was it this year? 
not last year, last year in June. Uh, so, no, last year in November, October, whenever Blake Show West was. Uh, so you got American Flag, another purple. It's kind of like a lava, lava color, purple, blue. My kids call this pink, but it's kind of like a reddish one, but also has kind of the uh, building block backspacer. No, this one doesn't. This is a regular backspacer. I thought they had a building block one too. Yeah, there's the building block one. So I'm probably going to put this on this. And we'll see how that works. So I have one apart already, so we're going to be going through that. Uh, ask any questions, uh, watch and cut, and you change your name again. Like, like Alex, what was that like third name within the year? I mean, you cover those things, so it makes sense, but let's see. So I can't see that camera anymore, so I'm going to be down here. So leave comments if you have any questions, uh, but we're going to be putting some of these things on. So again, different colors, different patterns. Uh, the first one was way too textured. Well, let me find the other one. I don't know where the other one went. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this was the one that was way too textured. Uh, so this is um, kind of difference between, it's going to be a different color, but I mean, there's the blue and the red. So there's the red variant, or the blue variant, sorry. So it's going to be the same type of scale pattern. And there's the first one we printed out, and that's way too textured. I mean, this is like very cloth-like, you know, very textured, like a G10 pattern. Uh, but that's too textured. That's not textured enough. So we're going to kind of up this one just a touch to have it just give you kind of a nice feel to it. Uh, so, uh, but these are still going to be available. So if you guys want to pick these up, again, they are going to be this message. I don't think I'm going to put on the site yet. But that's the other one. And it does drop the weight down. So it's actually lighter than carbon fiber. So. Let's see. You guys can't see that. One moment. So carbon fiber, uh, 4.6, uh, the actually printed ones is 4.1. So you lose point, point 0.5 ounces uh, going to this scale. So that's kind of the way, I mean, if you really want to get less weight on it, so that's 4.1, 4.6 for the carbon fiber. Let me get the other one out of my pocket. Standard is about five ounces, 4.9, five ounces. Whoop, whoop, touching it, hold on. Yep, five ounces. So you do save a, a 0.5 ounces roughly uh, for doing the 3D printed variant. So that's gonna be an option for you. And if you guys have any questions, again, let me know, but I'm gonna put this together. So we're gonna go with green. And we're gonna go with red. So they kind of match. So it's gonna be both the uh, brick pattern. And I guess let me know about pricing too. Like, does that seem outrageous or not? But um, we'll see. I guess we'll see if people buy them or not. Uh, but that will be the test to that. these off a little bit. And 
how you folks doing there? Is who is going to Blade Show? Is anybody going to Blade Show? I'm not using these. I'm using that. Okay, so normally uh, you have aluminum and G10. So very tight fit for it. Uh, so when you actually have it in there, so it's still a good fit. And still a good fit there, so it's not too uh, snug. That's how that gets going to look. Lubricant. Yeah, so that's where it's been kind of working with them on it, and now I have to kind of determine. Uh, what colors I go with because if we don't get a, much of a pre-order on I might just order a few just to have it in stock and available if people want to pick it up but that's working how that works then we have a few other things going on. So we do have the Scorpio still in the works. That's going to be out in, in probably July uh, for it, as long as production goes right and um, they don't get locked down like they are. In, was it was in Shanghai. They're not affected by that, so hopefully it stays that way. Backspacer. That's where it sticks up a little bit for the backspacer too. So the original one is a little bit, uh, is flush with it. And then so with that pattern, you get a little bit that sticks up on the spine to see how everything fits. my life liner somewhere I'm moving things around no. No. Oop, what am I doing it's right there so anybody watching I was looking around for something there you put on the knife sorry about that so let's line this up So if you're looking for any type of kind of added accessories and everything else, uh, so Chroma Scales has it for the PM2 now, I think, is the only one that they have currently available. So one thing that we're trying to work out is also this pocket clip. Up pocket clip pocket to see if it's actually right size because this one's going to be a little bit tighter. There we go. So 
just slide it on from the top side. I'm probably put some Loctite on this later, but we will see. And that's kind of how it looks uh, with the scales on it. So for the building blocks, and then that's going to be where you kind of have a lot of different options, so as far as what you want to pick up. I think on their site they have a good, like, 20 different styles. Uh, so initially, they're or at first, they're going to do a minimum order, but uh, for the first run, uh, whoever is interested, um, they're going to basically do whatever style you're looking for. So if you just want, if you're the only one that likes a certain style, then they will print it. It's about four weeks uh, for the total uh, print. Now uh, they're based in, the person I'm talking to is based in uh, Vancouver, Washington on the West Coast, uh, but the print center is located on the East Coast. So well, that's how it looks there. So probably some of the few that you actually get to really customize in this fashion. It is uh, a little bit rounded on the top side. So uh, with going through these, uh, we did actually uh, round it out a little bit more. So uh, with the second production run, we chamfered it here. Uh, this one's actually rounded off um, all the way on the top as well, between the two. So it feels good in hand. So it's gonna be a little bit slick after this one, but not horrible. But anything else you guys are asking about or wondering about. So yeah, these are the other ones that came in for the pre-production. So we got blue scales, little metal diamond pattern, kind of a stone pattern, and then the wood kaffir, kaffir, whatever it is, and kind of the peanut. And then all those other colors. So if you want purple, you want camo, lava, uh, all these other colors on there so you can actually run these so it sticks up a little bit higher on the scale so it's not completely flush like that one is still works though still very usable so i guess what do you guys think about that what do you guys think about the process of those they are 3d printed uh, they are again lighter uh, than the other uh, so we'll run through the weight again just to see how these are, since this is the second run of the scales. So, four point one. So still, still the same. So four point one ounces uh, for this guy. Yeah, four point six. So you lose five ounces or 0.5 ounces. Uh, just going to the three D print for this guy. There you go. Uh, any other questions on anything? Uh, any any input on the scales, on the process? So that's going to be pretty much about it. I just wanted to try it out, uh, so I'll kind of take you guys along with it, because I just got them in today, so I'm going to go and carry it for a bit, kind of see how it does, I guess, in pocket. I'll do that now, actually. Should be pretty good with it being so smooth. Yeah, you can kind of feel just the little nubs, uh, but it's nothing that catches or anything else. So that's why I like, I would prefer this over this really heavy texture. So you can even, not even my fingernail. So that's it. This one's a building block, building block backspacer, collar. Awesome.
yeah, so that's everything that's available for it. So if you're interested in that for your Solaris, if you don't have a Solaris, you can pick one up and then I can install those for you if you'd like. Uh, we're gonna do, um, they are gonna be normally 45 for the scale set. Uh, that's gonna be this one that's 3D printed, uh, it's been made to order. And then uh, you're gonna have the backspacers, all the other colors. Uh, those are gonna normally be $15, that's $10.50. Uh, so especially for this uh, kind of first pre-production run, uh, just message me either on Orion Knives or Blade Banter, and then we can get you set up for that. But yep, that is the building block. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, so we have the Solaris uh, still out, and then we're gonna be having the Scorpio. Uh, that's gonna be out in July. Uh, so that's what I'm holding to at least uh, for July for the Scorpio, which is gonna be the smaller variant, which I think I have around here. Yep, there it is. Scorpio. It's a blade shape. So it did move the logo down here as well. So that might be what I do in the future uh, for the next run of the Solaris as well. Yep, Scorpio. Yeah, so as you see here, the logo is initially up here. Uh, so in the next run of the Solaris, I'm going to probably move that down in this section here, like the Scorpio. I uh, still have the blade steel on the other side, 14C28. 14C28. But, I mean, that's the sizing difference as well. So 2.75 for the blade uh, blade length on this guy. And then do have some jimping up front. And then did add um, kind of a, a chamfer here. So when you're actually doing uh, a cut up here, you have a landing spot for your thumb. Uh, so that's one thing that I, I don't, I more, normally see that on bushcraft dives, but that's going to be up here uh, for it. And you're going to have that grip area up top. And then I did add, or actually did move, so the lanyard hole, the hidden one. Uh, so this is a little bit too up uh, forward. So I did kind of change, oh, that's not focusing. I did change that to push it back a little bit because when I had the lanyard in there, it actually was too big of a gap. Uh, so that's gonna be where this backspacer will be for that. Uh, the That backspacer is not gonna be the same. Pivot colors are the same though. But yep, that is the Scorpio. And Solaris. Yeah, but all those accessories, I'll probably uh, team up with uh, Chroma Scales as well uh, for this guy. Uh, so that's going to be something that will be in the works to kind of get more options as well for that. But then right now it's going to be blue micarta and black micarta. Uh, that's going to be the, the production run. Then you can actually do a finger flick as well. So with that chamfer, or fuller, not chamfer. With that fuller, oh, I also did, I also did crown the spine. So this spine is going to be crowned. But that is in production now. So yeah, hopefully July uh, for this guy. And then we'll go from there. So hopefully this one will be a runaway. It seems like a lot of people are interested. A lot of people are waiting for the Scorpio. Uh, I still need to sell the Solaris. So if you have anybody else that doesn't have a Solaris or wants to get one of these fancy 3D printed ones, uh, they are uh, not a house printer. They are a commercial 3D printer. Uh, so they are good quality and good tolerance. So as you saw, when I initially put it in for that liner, uh, it was stuck in there and it stayed pretty well. Yep, these are the scales. Just one of the variants. But thanks for stopping by, everybody. Uh, looks like the last ranger just popped in, but... Uh, if you guys have any questions, email, message, Instagram, uh, and then I'm available on those different uh, platforms. But let me know if you have anything else. Let me know if you have any questions on this stuff. If you want to pick up any of these items, uh, just message me. Uh, I'll invoice you for them, and then we'll kind of go from there. But thank you very much for stopping in. If there's nothing else, I'll give you guys a few more minutes to uh, see if you have any other questions while I put some of this stuff away. We do also these, have a few of these kits. These are all USA made uh, for this stuff. Uh, Scorpio is probably going to be about the same price, about 85, might be 90. Um, so we'll see how the final bill comes out. So it's not, I know it's smaller, uh, but still have the micarta right off the bat. And then it's not, it's not a lot of difference in, in uh, cost wise. So that's why I'm trying to you know, just 
really pr still provide a good product for you guys. Uh, but that's going to be roughly how much it'd be. It's probably going to be around the same price as the Scorpio, or the Solaris for that. Yep, but that's about it. All these are available. We even have an American flag style one. Um, this is the drop date, July. No, not D2. Uh, 14C28. Uh, so 14C28 is kind of my go-to steel right now. Uh, so it's going to be same steel as the Solaris. So Solaris is 14C28. Uh, the uh, Scorpio is also going to be 14C28 uh, for the Sky 2. Uh, July is the um, tentative drop uh, for the Scorpio. And then um, all these 3D print products are available now if you would like to pick those up. Uh, 45 normal price, uh, 31 50 uh, for the pre production, uh, $15 for the color scale or the color accents. Those are going to be 10 50 if you want to pick any of those up. But that is those. Yep, not D2 though. I think most people are detuned out. Uh, it's still a good steel. It still cuts very well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's too much detune out there. Those are about it. We still have the wood knife kits too. If anybody wants to pick up, pick up those things. Um, that I'll probably make at some point too. It's going to be kind of a backlog uh, type of product. Uh, if it, nobody's seen those, but no, that's basically this guy. Where do you go? So this is actually one of the pre ones. So it actually has a wood wood dowel in it, but it's gonna be a, kind of a backlog style. Cool, cool. All right, but that is about it. And uh, thanks for other people stopping in. I see some other people dropping in. Uh, probably coming off of somebody else's live. I think. Uh, uh, was it knife modders was doing a live so a lot of people probably on that one but I wanted to cover these uh so if you guys didn't have the opportunity to check it out and i'm going to be carrying this see how it does in this pattern uh so you're still probably gonna make it a little bit um, more grip to it uh but it's a lot better than the previous so happy with it so far but let me know if you guys have any other questions but thanks again for stopping in uh shoot an email text or instagram and then i'll get back to you guys as much as i can and we'll go from there thanks a lot for stopping in